Hello, welcome to Crypto Insights, where we teach you about crypto. My name is Thomas, and I'm the host of this channel. This video will be for absolute, absolute beginners. I had many comments that my videos were already too hard for the basic beginners. So in this video, I will explain what is a cryptocurrency, what is the difference between a cryptocurrency and the current currencies, and also what are Bitcoin and Ethereum, and what are the biggest differences, and what also do they have in common? So watch this video until the end, and then you will have a basic understanding of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's jump into the video. So a cryptocurrency is a digital currency which is not controlled or made by the government. On the opposite of cryptocurrencies, you have fiat currencies. Fiat comes from the Latin word Fiat, which means determined by authority. So it really shows that the government is involved. While with cryptocurrencies, that's not the case. So a big difference and a big improvement that cryptocurrencies have on the opposite of fiat currencies is transaction speed and costs. So the transaction speed of cryptocurrencies takes place within seconds or minutes, while the fiat system will take up to two business days. The fees are also way smaller for larger amounts of transactions. So if you do a large transaction in cryptocurrencies, it will be always cheaper than a large transaction in the fiat system. So now you know the difference between a cryptocurrency and the fiat system. Now we will dig into Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency and also the most simplified one. All the other cryptocurrencies are actually based on the Bitcoin protocol. Bitcoin was founded in 2008, and another word for Bitcoin is digital gold. Bitcoin can be used for singular and plural, meaning you can say I have one Bitcoin or you can say I have 10 Bitcoin. You cannot say Bitcoins. All the coins are stored on the public ledger. So instead of banks holding all the records of all the transactions, now it's all public. So this is very transparent. Everyone is able to see all the transactions in the network. You can also see all the wallets and all the holders in the network. You can just not see who owns those wallets. So who owns all the holdings within Bitcoin? You cannot see whether your neighbor has Bitcoin, yes or no. So this is what adds privacy to a public ledger. There will only be 21 million Bitcoin around, which is not that much. In the opposite of gold, where gold is also very limited, it doesn't have a maximum cap. So NASA is actually doing research on a comet quite close to the Earth that supposedly holds 700 quintillion dollars worth of gold. Meaning that if that gold comes to Earth and holds the current price, everyone on Earth will be a billionaire. Obviously, this is not going to happen, but if that gold really comes to Earth, the gold price will plummet really hard and go to an all-time low. So this is one of the main reasons investors are really interested in Bitcoin because Bitcoin only has 21 million and this is programmed. So this is really not possible to be changed. Bitcoin is already surviving 14 years. So you can see that it has never been changed. It won't be changed. What are the reasons that affect the Bitcoin price? First, you have adoption. So how many companies are actually accepting it as payment and how many investors and institutions are investing in it? On the second place, you have regulation. The more regulation there is, so the more the government approves it, the more companies will jump in because the big companies don't really want to be attached to something illegal or something is suspicious. So therefore, they only come to Bitcoin in later stages. And then you obviously have the development. So Bitcoin also has the Lightning Network, which is a layer two solution on Bitcoin. You can forget about that term, but the Lightning Network will make it possible to have smaller transactions sending faster and also cheaper. So there is a solution to do smaller transactions instead of just big transactions on the Bitcoin network. So now you know the basic principles of Bitcoin and now we will look into Ethereum. So Ethereum, just as Bitcoin, has its own blockchain. But what makes Ethereum truly unique is that it allows smart contracts. You can forget this term, but smart contracts allow companies and protocols to build on top of Ethereum. Compare it with Android. Android is a mobile phone system operator. You can build apps that work on Android. So Android is the system and all the apps can be built on top of it. So Android 
success is fully dependent on the ads that are built on top of it. Then on the other side, you have Amazon. So Amazon just provides a marketplace for biz small and big businesses to sell their products. So Amazon is also fully dependent on all the businesses that are selling on Amazon. The same works for Ethereum. So Ethereum is just a platform and all the apps on Ethereum make the network stronger and make it more popular. Also what makes Ethereum unique is that you can stake your currencies and staking is more or less providing your currencies to the network and receiving rewards. You can really compare that with dividends. So if you would buy Apple stock, you're, you are wishing to receive a reward. So you're profiting when the network does well. The same counts for Ethereum. So you can stake your Ethereum and receive staking back, which is also in the form of Ethereum. Another big difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum is that lately Ethereum moved to 2.0 and instead of having a maximum supply, actually Ethereum is reducing the supply. So Bitcoin has 21 million as a maximum supply. The maximum supply of Ethereum gets smaller and smaller every single day. So it has the opposite effect of becoming more and more and more scarce. And that's why a lot of companies are also jumping on the Ethereum train and really want to invest in the Ethereum protocol. So this is really the basics of Ethereum. And now we'll just go to a brief summary. So what have you learned today? You have learned the difference between cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies. You've also learned what are the biggest benefits of cryptocurrencies versus those fiat currencies. You've learned that Bitcoin is the first and most simplified protocol around and it's founded in 2008. It's also named the digital gold and comparable to gold, it is way more scarce. And gold is actually not scarce at all if we look in the universe. So Bitcoin is operated on a blockchain that is visible for everyone and accessible for everyone. And the price of Bitcoin is fully dependent on the adoption, the development, but also the regulation, because when it gets regulated and it gets more in, in the news positively, more people will be investing. On the other side, you've learned Ethereum and Ethereum also has its own blockchain, but what makes it unique is the smart contracts. So you can compare Ethereum with Android or Amazon. Ethereum is also unique in the fact that there is no maximum supply, but the supply gets less and less. Plus you can stake in the company that is almost working as dividends. So this is the end of this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. And also if you have any questions regarding new content that you would like to learn about, I'm happy to provide it for you for free. Just let me know in the comments. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.